Today I will show you the coastal towns between Budvar and Bar and I will give you some impressions from my stay in the best 5 star hotel of Montenegro. It's a very small old town as you can see. I've been here five or six years ago actually. With way more tourists. It's the end of the season now already, so it's relatively quiet here, which is nice. Um, seen that before, everything that I'm gonna see from now is new for me. I'm gonna head towards the beach to my hotel and from there I'm gonna go towards bar. My room here in this splendid five-star hotel <laughs> ah, gave me a room with a very nice view I'm gonna go to Sviti Stefan now, it's around 5 kilometers here and there's a nice walk along the coastline so I'm gonna walk between I wanna see Petrovac, I haven't been to Petrovac yet
This is a Villa Milocer, or Milocer, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Kind of feels like a private beach. I'm not sure, uh, but there were no signs or no gates, nothing. So, Sweetie Stefan will be right behind the corner. Now. We are Sweetie Stefan. I've never been inside. I think it looks open. People are walking over the bridge or over the sandbank. It's a five-star hotel resort, but it's closed since 2020 and they did not reopen it yet, so you can just walk over the bridge here and then you have to walk back again. But yeah, beautiful surrounding here for sure. So I made it back uphill to the main road, uh, last view here on Sveti Stefan. I'm gonna go to Petrovac now, about 10 kilometers from here, but I'm not gonna walk that up. Yeah, this is the Castello viewpoint. It's kind of uh, run down a little bit in the forest. I'm not sure how many tourists are actually coming here. Petrovac again, but I have to say it was a pleasant surprise. Kind of nice here, I like it. At least now when there's not so many people around. The summer is probably packed as well, then it's a complete different story. But this time of the year, October, November, very, very nice place to go to. Walking to Bulgarica and they have a really really nice beach here. You could see it from the top of the hill. And I think there are some kind of wetlands and I also believe people are not allowed to build there. That's why it's completely free of any buildings, like a pristine beach. That's so nice to have actually. Well this is less than an hour away from Kotor guys. <laughs> I think from here I'm gonna hitchhike to Bar. 25 minutes, or maybe there is a local bus coming just when I get to the street again. Let's see. I made it to Study Bar. Um yeah, there was a bus station, but there was no bus coming. So I met two people working in the construction site and one of them works here in the spa resort as well. Tomorrow I have a friend from Canada coming actually. She will land tomorrow and then come down here. And yeah, this is the old town here, old, old bar. Yeah, 
you made it to the end of the video. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal triple, then check out the link below.